Okay. Um, Severin Sage. And I believe it's been four weeks since I did part four. The reason for that is I wanted to take a break because I was doing too many parts at once and because those parts were usually about three hours long. I wanted to give whoever was watching at the time time to watch, like have enough time to watch and to catch up. Normally when I do playthroughs on games like this, I usually just play and upload part after part until I'm actually done. Um, so, uh, there's really nothing I can do, um, about that right now. Hold on a sec. Alright, so, we're gonna be at the very end. I think this is gonna be the final video. I am kind of worried, though, because there is a part, a cutscene, where Konami, I was saying Konami before, but I guess it's Konami, um, there's a part where he goes into the Kuze Shrine to wake up Reika, and he goes in there and he's, like, carrying, like, this blue lantern and it's all cinematic and stuff, and I remember that cutscene always getting copyright claimed. It's not, like, a, a claim where, like, you get a strike, it's more like, this is a claim where the person who owns it allows it to be in your video and you can use it kind of claim. So, like, you're not in trouble or anything, it's just a claim that, oh, we're gonna claim this scene. And what they do is they put fucking ads in the video. Um... I hope it doesn't do that, because they did that to me in the past. Um, but if it does, it does, because this is like my final playthrough on this game. I'm not going to be going through the whole game because one section gets claimed. Um, and when you do full videos like this, it's hard to cut stuff like that out. I don't have any special editors or editing tools, and usually my videos get recorded as they are. I can't edit them at all, so I don't have the ability to do that. Um, or I could just cover the whole cutscene. Like, when it starts, block the whole screen. But I don't want to do that either, because it ruins the playthrough. So, we're, we're probably going to just have to fucking deal with it. If only I could see, see you again. Still. Okay, so. Something happened in the last time I was playing this, where I had to redo this three times. And what it is, is like, you listen to the two tapes, right? There's two different tapes you listen to. Um, hold on a moment. So I think the two, we listened to the Sleeping Priestess song, and then Otosuki, and there was like the same dream. I think I've listened to all of them, I'm pretty sure I have, because um, I had to restart this the last time I played, and I can't remember what I did. I think I listened to the two tapes, and then... We grab the spirit stone radio, and then we have to go up and see her. And I can't remember if I had already did it, but because her voice is still coming through the speaker, I'm going to assume that I didn't do it. Because at the end of the last video, it sh I showed myself doing it, but I had did something wrong because I didn't pick up a book. And I had to reload my save, and I had to do it again. So because the ladder isn't down in here, I'm assuming I didn't do it. Yeah, I didn't do it, because I'm getting the cutscene. Sound seems to be coming from the attic. The attic room hasn't been open since you put his things here when we when he moved out of his parents' house. Yeah, because I did something wrong out of order. What I had did was, um, you're supposed to, like, pick up a book before you take the photo of Reika. And I had didn't do it or something? Hold on. She's supposed to appear in front of me. There we go. Okay, so you go right here to this little tiny shelf that you can barely see, and you're supposed to be able to pick up a book. See, I think I had read these last time, but I'll reread them again. So the following is deeper speculation of the meaning, because you're supposed to get a different book, but we're going to have to figure out where it is. It's, it's supposed to be right here as well, and I think I, I missed it last time. This is the meaning of the tattoo design, holy and snake... As in the northeastern Japanese folktale, the Tattoo Master, based on new research or further change in the story was confirmed. The Tattoo Master 2, the girl who lost her lover, goes to the mountain to confide in her master about pains of her heart. Upon hearing the girl's story, the master engraves a tattoo on the girl. After that day, the girl dreams of the man. But then she falls in love with someone else. The tattoo dream becomes a nightmare, and the tattoo aches severely. The suffering girl goes to visit the master again to see if she cannot remove the tattoos. 
The master washes off the tattoos with water that gushes forth from a mountain spring. As she does this, the snake swims into the water and disappears deep into the spring. I like that writing. Like that, I, I like the way it's written. Like, she puts the snake tattoo on the girl in memory of her lover, but then when the girl falls in love with somebody else, she goes back to that master, and then she washes the tattoo off with, like, special spring mountain water, and then the snake actually comes off of her skin and swims into the spring. Like, can you imagine seeing that shit in real life? You'd be like, what the f- The meaning of the tattoo is essentially the same here, but the end of the story is very different. Neither the girl who has her tattoo washed off nor the master dies. Here, the mountain and water spirit properties of the snake are clearly expressed, and it is likely a popularized version of the story that incorporates a happy ending, because in the original or ending... God, her talking over me. In the original story... I don't know, because they said this is a different story. I think the other one is actually more true. So in the original story... um. The girl gets that tattoo. She falls in love with somebody else. But I think the master tattoos her own body. Takes on the girl's pain. Like she never tattoos the girl at all. That's where it changes. Because in this story. The tattoo uh, master puts the tattoo on the girl. But in the other original story. She doesn't give her a tattoo at all. Instead she etches the girl's pain onto herself. And then. Um, villagers start to hear about how the girl went to get rid of her pain because the master took on the pain by tattooing her own body and then other villagers start to go and then the master's body winds up becoming filled with tattoos and then it's supposed to believe that the snake leaves the master's body and not only like devours her but devours everybody else who had their pain etched onto the master like it takes revenge against everybody um and I think, I want to say that's probably the true story. But I think that's really what happened. <laughs> so this is a very interesting legend in which all the properties of the snake appear, including mountain and water spirit, envy and pathos. I think there's supposed to be another one. There's supposed to be another one. I think it's wrapped up as though what it is. Let me take a good look at this. Look at this attic. There's like a giant dresser in front of me. Some books. The two other little dressers right here. Another dresser. Some boxes. This is a weird attic space. Okay, the sound seems to be coming from this shelf. Inside the drawer is an old book and something wrapped in cloth. Inside the bundle of cloth is what looks like a small stone of some kind. So this is the earring. So in order to save Kay from being taken by the dream, we need this. So in the last video, we had picked up the other stone echo stone earring. I think I, I think I did it as him. Where we get the holy... I think it, I can't remember if I had did it as Miku. That's where I'm getting confused. Um, you pick up the holy hairpin that Kyoka has. And you use that to open up the box mirror in her room. She has like a little mirror in her room with a box. And you open that up. And you get the picture of Akito. As well as the other earring that actually has the string on it. Because it's an earring. Um, and this is the other one. But for some reason this earring is missing that like cord. Because it's like a, a woven. Kind of looks like a. Almost wood. But it's like some kind of like a rope. Looks like a rope earring. Because it has like a wooden rope with like silver rings around it. Um, and Kaname gets that one. Like uh, K gets it. And then Kaname has this one. And he gives it to Reika. But it's missing the, the rope part for some reason. I don't know why. So could this be the earring of the person mentioned on the cassette? Kaname. So Reika who heard the longing of the priestess. There's the other world tome. So, I'm soliciting test subjects for my research on dreams as the border between life and death. It was difficult to find someone who could speak clearly about their dreams, but I found someone who seemed to know of the other world. The man has had the same dream for several months in a row. The dream is as I described below. One, he first notices he is standing before a small snow-covered shrine. Two, he has seen the shrine before, but only vaguely remembers it. He has, however, heard of a shrine like it in his hometown. This is Kaname we're talking about. Three, from deep in the shrine, he hears the voice of the girl he left behind. Four, beckoned by the voice each day, he goes a little further into his dream shrine. 
Up to this point, this is a plausible dream generated from the desire for home and love. Next is where his statement becomes interesting. Five, an ancient ceremony is held there and one can meet the deceased. Six, there is a huge cave deep in the shrine and a river flows there. There is a large pit and the base of it is the sea. Okay. This statement is clearly about the other world, particularly the underworld. According to his story, there is a legend in his hometown about the other world and dreams, and much of his dream congrues with it. I recorded his talk on his dreams for four days compiled below. He is from the Mutsu region, where they have an ancient legend about a sea called the Sea of Endless Night that exists in the mountains. There they have many legends related to dreams. For example, dreams are called the Rift and traverse the border between the other world and the real world. If you continue to have nightmares, the deceased apparently return from the underworld. Because they, they, they use your dreams as a gateway. So basically what that's saying is the rift. So while you're dreaming, it's connecting you to the real world and the afterlife. And your dream, which is called the rift, is kind of like a gateway or a portal that goes between both worlds Basically, while you get pulled into a space in your dreams, it opens up a portal to the afterlife. And people from the other side can cross through into the real world via your dream. And I think that's kind of like, almost like worrying and even terrifying to think about in a real life sense. Like, oh, while you're dreaming, a horrible eldritch being can cross from the dream world or the afterlife through your dream and into the real world through you, like... What the f- Anyway, the shrine exists in order to prevent the nightmares. There resides a priestess who sleeps in the rift and will take on the nightmare. The voice he hears may be that of the priestess that sleeps in the shrine of the other world, communicating the existence of the rift. The morning after the day I recorded his testimonial on the gramophone, he suddenly disappeared, leaving behind all his luggage. Did he go to see the woman from his hometown? The earring he left is made of echo stone and since ancient times has been said to communicate thought. Perhaps I can use it to modify the crystal receiver. So that I think that's why um, I think the person who's writing this is Kunihiko Aso because he's like my spirit stone radio and he's the one who made that. So it could be that he's the one who took the ring and the rope part off of it and he put it into the crystal receiver. And that's how we were able to hear Reika just now. Because that other earring was in the dream world. But this is where it kind of doesn't make sense. Because in the last video, when we were just there in the manner of sleep, we picked up the other earring as K. K brought it back to the house and has it. And K is here. So how could we still hear Reka? Both of the earrings are no longer in the manner of sleep. They're here. See how that doesn't make any sense? Those earrings were supposed to believe that if the person had the other one, you would be able to hear each other through it. Kind of like the whole cup and rope concept. Like, oh, if you hold the other one, I can hear you on the other side. But, like, both of the earrings are here. How could that be? How could you even hear her? I, I've never understood that. If this earring is Reika's, the tattooed priestesses, then it might convey her voice and emotions. Shower scene. While well, it's coming up. The voice on the cassette was talking about a place where you could meet the dead. Could it be inside that manor? I want to be with him again. I want to be with him again. That's what Reika's voice said on the radio. I... Because she feels the same way about you. Her, her fiancé. Like, she knows how Reika feels, basically. That's her... Beyonce. So fucking dark. Woo! That looks so bad. God, that looks so bad. Jesus. See, it feels like that bar of soap not being on a soap holder, bro. Your whole countertop's gonna get wet and full of dumb shit. Um, the fact that it can spread while she's awake like that is interesting. 
So because this is the end of the game, we need to go and stockpile some things. So there's going to be a couple areas we're going to go to fucking Yashi's face coming through my wall. Why did it aim that way? What? Is there something over here? Could be hiding in my closet. Fucking nothing. <laughs> yeah, Alright. Yeah, uh, yeah. Our lovely shrine dedicated to our husbando. Everybody has one of those. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding. Alright, so let's go. Because um, where we need to go now when we get back into the manner of sleep, we need to go through the main bell hallway back to the hearth room so that I can go refill my candle. I can't remember what the level was when I left it last time. And we're going to be wandering around the manor for a while. And I need to refill it as much as I can. It's hard to see, but he actually does have breathing animations, and I think it's cool. Where The way his hand is on his stomach, if you look at it very carefully, you can see it slowly rising and lowering as he's breathing. Cute detail. So like I was saying, he has the other earring, and we have it. So that's the part that kind of doesn't make too much sense because for some reason he's trapped in the manner of sleep right now and so is Miku. And the only way to save Kay is by getting that other earring. I know you're under my fucking desk. Kiriko? Stop grudge breathing under my desk. What are you doing? Serious? I just wanted to mess up your chair. I hate the color pink. She just picks it up and throws it across the room. No, um. So, like, I just don't get how it makes sense. I never really understood how that stops him from disappearing. I think what it could be is he has the other earring, and it, I, because if you look at it this way, I think this is how it makes sense. He picks up the other earring, and he is currently stuck in the dream manner, right? But he's also here with Ray. He's actually in her house. But the problem is, his body is here, but he, I guess like his soul actually is trapped inside the manor of sleep. As of right now, Kay is trapped inside the Kuse shrine. He's basically been taken prisoner by Reika, and we have to go save him. And I feel like the way it works is because he has that other earring on him. It's on his like physical body, even though it's here. The fact remains is that he actually is really trapped in the manner of sleep and he has the other earring on him because he has it on his physical body but because he picked it up in the dream it's actually on his dream body not his real body if that I don't know if that's making sense because his real body is here but his actual spiritual self is trapped in the manner and he has that other earring on his dream self or however you want to refer to him his dream self um and we have the other one, which is physically on us. So it's it's connecting like a tethered gateway. So as long as I have the other earring, I'm basically like still connected to him. And I think that that's what's, how it works. That's how you save him. So I kept trying to figure it out. And I think because she has the other one. It's physically on her. She physically has it. He's downstairs and has the other one on him. But it's actually on his dream self. And it, it's still like, so even though she's really here and Miku and Kay are spirited away right now, because she has that earring, I technically I'm still connected to Kay at least. We don't have any connections to Miku because she already succumbed to her dream, but there's a way we wake her up and save her as well. And the only way to do that is to defeat Reika. So we have to basically defeat Reika to save both of them. But we're more tethered to Kay because we both have that earrings. I don't know. Am, am I supposed to be alive? She loves to say that. <laughs> Fucking you standing in his room like that. That's Reiko standing inside the killer room. Then you can see the gates of the shrine opening. It's fucking go time. So this is the end, pretty much. It's kind of another reason why I took almost like it's been four weeks. It's basically been a month since I played this. I wanted to let it sit for a while because this is the end. And now we're going to be redoing Fatal Frame 2. I basically deleted all of my videos for Fatal Frame 2 and 3 so that I could redo them a final time. Mainly because I cleared the game seven times each on my channel. 
And I feel like I had the games too many times, and I just wanted one solid playthrough for each game. That's why I deleted those. I used my fucking shutter power like an idiot. I, I have used... to see him. Oh. I have to find him and be sure. You, I. What happened is I've been playing another game where the circle button is to open doors, and I forgot that that's not how you open doors in this game. So, I'm change my film. So there are four mirror shards you need to pick up. So the voices at the bottom of the screen is Rika. We need to go pick up those shrines, uh, the shards. First of all, though, we need to go stockpile items, So, and I need to refill my candle, though. I think the candle is full, but we can go double-check it. So let me go see if how many of my items restockpile. Let's see if there's a blue glow. I should have went and got the one from the projector room as well. I just don't know how much I have. Usually I'm pretty stockpiled up. Hold on, let me see. Let me look at my items. Let's see. So we have 40 here, we have 50 here, we only have, we don't really have a whole lot of healing items, I do have a stone mirror, so if I die for some stupid reason, uh, this is like a phoenix down. So I want to go make sure we stockpile a lot of items, because we have to fight Reika, and she's like the boss ghost, she's super strong, and I don't have any, like, film to really fight her, if you noticed. <sighs> Normally I have, like, the green and red film, but I think throughout this playthrough I had used them kind of stupidly at times. And I think that's why I ran out. So this is the ending. So there's not really too many other ghosts around that can attack you, but it can happen. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Where? Up? Is it up? Oh. What is this? Oh, is that Machie? That's a weird ghost circle that I've missed. I never knew there was a circle there. And I've played this game many times and I've never noticed that. What am I, a fucking idiot? Alright, there's a- so let's go up here for a moment. We need to go down and get the film at the bottom of the stairs, refill a camera, get the healing item under the stairs. Then you gotta go up through the stairs and look through that little peaky window. And there will be two shrine maidens inside. See, my candle's going down. So let's get it on the way back. Because I could get it early, but I have to take the time to walk down here. Did I ever get Kay to open that? Yeah, it is. It is open. It's open. Okay. Let me grab this. We need to stockpile as much as we can. Because when you go to fight her at the end, she's not hard to fight, but it's the boss fight. I feel like it lingers on forever. She casts, like, this bubble dome around you of miasma um, as you're running. And what kind of sucks is you have to run away from her during the boss fight because when she touches you, it does, like, some weird shit. And um, it gets really difficult. I remember struggling with it on Nightmare Difficulty because when she's chasing you from behind, you have to, like, run in the opposite direction. And then there's, like, this fucking flip that she does on you. Where when you go to run forward to get away from her, she appears in front of you and then you have to turn the other way on being attacked. Is that the, that's the engraver. I was just about to say, because this is the end of the game, I don't think you get attacked by any ghost. I guess that made me look like a liar. That's the engraver. I don't know where she is. You can only see them through the lens, by the way. The engravers kind of suck. You cannot see them with your physical eyes. You can only see them through the lens, and I don't see her. So I'm going to keep walking. She's probably stuck on the wall, but it's really loud. It's fucking scratching. Why can't I save, though? Normally, if you're being attacked by a ghost, you can't save. So I think I broke it. Remember to save often, by the way, when you're playing this. Especially in this final chapter, because holy shit. Yeah, I think I broke it. She's stuck on the other wall. Okay, now it stopped. Now it stopped. This happens all the time where I get attacked by a ghost, and because I leave the area before they actually have a chance to show up, 
it actually causes it to break. <laughs> like their sound effect doesn't go away, and it's happened many times. There, that that's Kiriko. See, see what I mean? See how she reappeared and then disappeared? God, the ghosts are losing it. <laughs> Right here. So it looks like it's Shigure and Hisame, and it looks like they impaled Minamo, or Minamo's on the ground. Minamo is on the ground, Shigure is sitting, and Hisame's standing there. Hisame has the one with the long hair. Shigeru is the one who has her hair tied back. Minamo is the one that has the two little balls on the side of her head. It's like a ball uh, hairband. And then Amane was the one with the twin tails. When she's crying, it sounds more like she's laughing. It's like she's trolling me. Like... What the hell? Let me double save. I'm going to be saving as much as I can. Because reasons. Yeah, I like how that was Kiriko. So it actually, it sounded like it was the engraver. And then I opened the door and then Kiriko was there instead. So I don't know what the fuck is happening. My game be busted. I don't know. I can't really do anything about that. So, we need to get the mirror shards. There's four of them. Let's take a look at my map, see where I'm at. Let me remember, I know there's one in the Spirit Tree Garden. Um, I really need to remember where they are. There's one... I thought there was one inside... The, the cage that she was put in. I can't be for certain, though. Damn it. Stroller grandma likes to show up in this hallway. I, I, I usually just ignore her. Sometimes when you open that door, she's supposed to come through you like a troll job, but uh, didn't happen that time, so... Also, the layout of this room permanently changes. Normally, you would go the long way around, and you can't do that anymore. Because it's all closed off on that side. Man, the sound of her damn feet on this floor. I think, isn't there a mirror shard um, up here in the room where uh, Yoshino Takigawa was being held? It's been a while since I played this, and I'm really trying to remember where the four mirror shards were. I had read it, wrote it down somewhere, but I don't know where my, uh... Yashikuze. So apparently this was Yashu's room. You can still hear him cry laughing. It is kind of weird that Yoshino ended up in her room. Like, she's like the main, one of the main ghosts. And it, I find it odd that, uh, she, she got stuck in her room. Like, out of all the rooms to get stuck in, she got stuck in her room. Damn it, my candle's going down. It's not too bad if it fades completely. All that means, though, is that it'll turn everything gray and white, like, um, monochromed. And then all of the ghosts become more active. Because basically when you are surrounded um, in that miasmic film or whatever, you you kind of become more brighter so the ghosts can spot you. It's like a dull light in the dark. Oh, I'm turning red. There must be something. There's a joint in the floorboards. Maybe it leads downstairs. But it leads to the room where I literally just came from, though. Through the hole in the floor, I can see Tatami Mats in the room below. Maybe I can get down by the ladder. The sound of the radio seems to be coming from below.
Oh, yeah. We're in the room with them. Wait, did I get it? Did I get both? Hello? I need to move. I need to move. I need to move. Get off me! Get the fuck! Hisame? Oh, now we are in that room where we were. Where I... Hold on. No, no, no. I let go of my fucking... Uh, she's behind me and I'm in the wrong angle. It's hard to track them because they move faster than I can spin. See what I mean? I think I hit her though. Shouldn't have double shot it. I should have waited. Damn it, my can my candle's going down. Usually what I try to do is I spin like this around the room and I don't stay in viewfinder. She's behind me to my left. Get off! I spin like that so I can see them easily. Easier. Okay, she's behind me. Nope. It's gonna be hard to get. We're gonna struggle. We're gonna struggle here for a while. It's okay. I see you. No, where'd you go? It's getting darker. She's using her dark power. Oh, no, my candle faded. Get off! This is, this is gonna be harder, because now it's darker and I can't see. There you are. Matt, are you serious? Is this, is this gonna be all day with you? She's in my face. That's cute. Man, I hate when they become, like, active like this, because they become more floaty. And they are much harder to fight. Okay, she's over there. Alright. Hold on. I think she's... Okay. What was my power button? Oh yeah, okay, now I remember. I'll slow her down. This is fucking ridiculous. I think I hit her with it. I think. You can tell when they break your power, um, because you'll hear it break. It makes like a sound. There it goes. She broke it. She broke it. Hit her with it again. Kind of aim up a little bit. There I go. Damn it, I was too late. Whatever. Take brownie shots off of her. I know it probably seems dumb, but you don't really have a choice. You'll be here all day if you don't. She's behind me again. Right there. So if you hit the circle button as soon as ghosts grab you, you can do a flash which repels them. That's what I'm doing. I only have 11 more though, so I should be careful. I think she's behind me over here. If you look at the top of the screen, the red filament, wherever it grows the brightest is where she is. Got your ass in 4K. Too early. That was too early. So now I'm down to 10. Damn it. This is hard. It's also harder because my ha it's hot in here. My hands feel kind of sweaty and I can't grip my controller. Okay, hold on. She's probably right there. Want a hug? Want a hug? Want a hug or something? Give me the book. Give me the book. Give me the book. Give me! Did you just fall down like that? No book has been left where the girl disappeared like a freak. Red Daughtery. So, the head of the family died within the rift. Amane has been impaled at the bottom of the abyss. Same with Shigurai Aminomo. Everyone's been impaled. The only one left in the manor. I can't read. I'm the only one left in the manor because I was the last one chosen. With everyone gone, the manor is so open and dark. Just like a dream. Feels so nice. Why the hell would you say that? 
I'm going to sleep now, forever and ever. Who is he? What the f- She has issues, my god. So she impaled the other ones, is what I'm getting from this. So they had all, all three of them had impaled Amane, and then I guess Shigeru got impaled somehow. Actually, it was Minamo, then Shigeru. Um, and then she was left last. I don't know why. The girls dressed as shrine maidens who tried to skewer me in my daydream at the deserted house. They were abandoned in the, in the manor in the end, confined within the walls of those rooms to carry out the final ceremony. So that is kind of odd. I don't remember doing this in my previous playthroughs when I had played this game in the past. I don't remember coming in here to fight them at all like that. I kind of wonder if it's something I had actually ever did. See, I, didn't, I never got the Yashu one. Head of the family said he is in pain from taking the holy from the priestess. So see, this is why I used to think that she was a man. Because the translation is wrong at times. And it keeps calling her a man when she's not a man. She's very much a woman. But she sounds like a man in a way. So I used to think that she was one. Tattoo priestess, break his lover, Kaname. Uh, let's see, a woman in the dark. Engraver who gouged her eyes and... and and pierced her hands. She watches over the prison. I have a really bad headache, and when I get my headaches, um, I can't really think too well. Like, it obscures my my ability to kind of do stuff. So if you ever see me kind of freeze and I like start stuttering and I become really slow, I suffer with these horrible, horrible headaches that um, kind of like impair me. Also, you have to be careful because while in the state, because my candle wore out, there's a, when you when I get ready to come out of this room, this is why I'm taking a while. Reka will show up behind you and do like a fucking choke slam attack to you, like she's fucking the Undertaker from WWE or some shit. So she doesn't do it all the time, but she can appear suddenly and then she just grabs you, and I'm like, oh my god. It's also an insta kill too. That's why I was saying I only had one spirit stone and I can't remember where to get any more right now. I think there's one inside the, um, what's it called? The, 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 the shrine area, the one, the, the engraving shrine. But it's, I can't get there right now. So, so after the unleashing, he semi conducted the ceremony to seal the rift. Oh, she did it. Unleashing Hisame. So, I, I, did I get the other one? There was there was two there. Feel like I'm losing my mind. Oh. Yeah, see, I didn't have those. Yeah, so when I get ready to come out of here, um, she does a fucking choke slam attack. Because <laughs> when, uh, when your candle fades and you're surrounded in this miasmic like this, Basically, it means that Reika is free. She's roaming free right now. And that kind of bothers me. And let me change uh, change my map. Go down. So it gets faster if I zoom in. So here. This is the engraving shrine. In here, I believe there is another, um, another candle. I'm also trying to remember where to find her four mirror shards at. I don't know why I'm having such a hard time remembering when I used to know where they were. I had wrote it down because I, I, make, I make guides for these games where I'm like, shrine, left floor, top shelf or something like that's how I write my notes. I write them out like that and I can't find it. So we're going to have to go by ear to listen for where her shard pieces are. There's four of them. I do remember there one being one in the spirit tree garden. I think there's one out here. And I'm trying to remember the other room if you go upstairs. Um, upstairs even more. There is the one that's inside. God, my headache. The one inside the kimono room. Wasn't that that leads here, right? To the hanging prison. I think there's a shard here. And I'm trying to remember because we need all four of them to be able to continue this. Um shit. Please don't grab me. Please don't be right there right now. Oh, there she is. Reka, 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 Reka. Rika! Rika! <laughs> Please, stop! Stop! What are you doing? 
You can't just get, I can't walk any faster. Don't, 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 don't. Ha. You can't just skip. Yeah, no shit. Go, 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 go. No, 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 no. Please, stop. Stop. Yamata kudasai. Rika! Dude, it's an insta-kill if she touches you if you're wondering why I'm fucking- uh! She's auto-turning my camera. I can't, I can't. Just go into the roof. Go into the roof. Go into the roof. Ugh. That fucking auto turn. God, I hate it. It sucks. Or I was trying to walk into the closet and then it turned me to face her. And then when I tried to go back, it would flip me backwards again. Oh my god. What is your damn problem, you fucking. Go. Go. Yep. See, there's auto flipping again. Hold it down. Hold it down. Hold it down. Go downstairs. I guess she's my partner now. You're gonna follow me? Come on, follow me through the walls. Let's go. Let's go for a walk. Don't you fucking do that. Come on, Rika. Come on. We're all friends here. I feel the same way as you. I lost my husband also. He died horribly. I know how you feel. I mean, though, Kaname wasn't your husband. He was just like your love interest. We can be friends, though, Rika. 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 Oh, my God. She's gonna never stop following me. She loves to follow me everywhere. This is gonna get old. Oh my god. She never stops following you, by the way, because she's the boss ghost. There is no way to outrun her. You just keep running. I need to go get more film because we need a stockpile. She's gonna follow me the whole way. That's fine. There she is. I can feel the thoughts of so many people being etched into me. So many voices. So much pain. Please don't forget me. This is my voice. My memory. My pain. Mm -hmm. There's one. Pick it up. Mirror Fragment 5. All my pain, my longing. You know, you can still hear her voice. So she stopped. Huh. Bro, what the sh- So there's five pieces. I thought there was four. So we have all of them. So we got Horizon. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Turn around. Damn it, I thought there were four pieces, I forget. There's actually five. In my dreams for so long, over and over, but don't want this stream anymore. Okay. So there is one here. Trying to think. Where where's there another one? Cause she's gonna keep following you throughout the whole manor, cause this is the final chapter and she's very, very active during this point. Let's go back. So you wanna keep your eye on that candle, cause once it goes out, she hones in on your location. Cause see now that I relit my candle, see how she's kinda like gone now? could still hear her. Let's see. Man, my head hurts real bad. I'm trying to remember where they are. I know there's one in the spirit tree garden. At least I think it is, but it probably isn't. Let's go back to where we saw Kaname originally. There's one here. I will shatter my memories, these shards, 
these pieces of me. Three, my longing, my memory. So if you remember, there was a spirit mirror that reflected her emotions and she had to break it herself. So when she broke it, it broke into five pieces and each piece means something. So we're going to the spirit tree garden this way. Never wanted to leave you. I wanted to be with you. I'm here. I'll always be here is the next one. I will always be here. There, now you can see it. I never wanted to leave you. I wanted to be with you. I'm here. I'll always be here. Did the voice actress for Reka and Ray do... Is it, is it the same girl? Because that sounds a lot like her. Mirror one, I wanted us to be together again. Let me go over to the other side and say really quick. We need to pick up a candle at the bottom of Kyoka's room near the bookshelf. Because my candle is pretty low. And like I said, the moment it drops low, she hones in on you. Like fucking Sonic homing in on some fucking rings. She literally zeroes in on your location and it sucks. Like the moment your candle fades, she finds you like that good and she she will follow you for a long time until you're able to refill it again and if you can't find a way to refill that again you're fucking screwed so the next one is again i know i can't see you again still if i can just see you once more i think is what it is so you got to go to that room the hanging prison room that i was talking about and she should be inside the cell so we have uh i think we have five and three Still, if I could just see you once more. That's how you can tell if you're getting close, is you can the words will appear at the bottom of the screen. So when it's the darkest, you're literally directly either under it or above wherever the shard happens to be at. Go ahead and refill up. So I think the next fragment is two. So we have five and three. Five, three, and one. So we are missing two and four. I'm just going by ear. Usually, like I said, when the words get darkest, you're either above it or under it. Most of the case, though, you are under it. If you can hear her words and they start showing up, it's usually because you're under it. Here we go. I want to see you again. I know I can't see you again, but still, if I could just see you once more, once more, just one more time. So if you remember, that was the one we heard inside our house. Why would the door just close on my face? <laughs> I stepped out of the threshold by accident. What can you do? So there's a photo in here, but you have to go around to the back of the cell to be able to get it. So pick up five and two. If I want to see you again. Then you get the pierce lens. We already know what pierce does. Basically, blah, 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 blah. So let's go to the back of the cell. So go around this way. Kind of have to, like, hunch down, I guess, for some reason. That... See, there's a lot of hidden ghost circles that you wouldn't know about. This is one of them. So if you kind of like... I think you aim down right here. Or I think it's to the side. I might have went the wrong way. Hold on. Right there. Hold on. I thought it was behind it. It's to the side. Right, uh... I guess it would have to be this side because this side is the only part of the cell that's broken and the top on the other side over there, the rest of it's intact. Well, actually, it's kind of broken all the way around, but this is the biggest break right here. This is the biggest break. So, let's go over here. Man, 
Seeing her hunched down like that's making my back hurt, and I already suffer from back problems. So, there's another one. Brought in as priestess. It should be brought in as a priestess. She was locked up in an effort to temper the holy. The way it's just written out, like, brought in as priestess, she is locked up in an effort to temper the holy. Like, it still says the same thing, but I feel like it could be just a little bit better. But you figure this game is translated from Japanese to English, so. With limitations. As long as you understand what they're trying to say, I don't think it's a fucking big deal. There's people that like to make a big deal. Oh, it's not the same as the Japanese reading. I don't care. It's close enough. Besides, translating stuff is fucking hard. If you've ever tried it, like, you would know. Please don't do this. The engraver. She wants to give me a hug, but I just want your herbal essence. Sounds like a fucking name of a shampoo brand. All the ghosts be using the herbal essence. I think that is a shampoo brand. Actually, it is. Come back here. Come back here right now. Ah. She's never gonna stop following me, chasing me down my snowy hallway. She's like, get back here. I can't let you get the final shot. The final shot. Oh my fucking candle. Did you see the flames on the candle? My fucking. Okay. I feel like you've been in my dreams for so long. That's weird. Over and over. That's weird. But I don't want this dream anymore. Remember how those were hanging from the ceiling and now they're all collapsed on the floor? They're like mummies wrapped in cloth that look like people. Those used to be hanging. They're, it's funny. Yeah, they're all on the floor now. Yes. Oh, my purifying light. Shine your light upon me. I need to go the other way. Stop! Stop it! Stop it! Stop for a moment. Put them on the other side. Look at her fucking face. Look at my face all over the place. Are you really there? I don't really know. There's no trace. I need to pick this up right now. Pick it up! My power broke. She broke my power. Fragment 4. This whole time I've been dreaming... Dreaming of a better world. Oh! The fragments are all together again. Go to the engraving shrine. This is her longing. You, I'm gonna pass the fuck out from my nonsense. Okay, tattoo diary two. I endure the piercing of the soul so people can wash away their feelings. The pain of the holy engraved on me shows me many dreams. Many kinds of pain and love. I take on all the pain of being left alone. The pain of living. I felt like I read that wrong. But these pains, these pains I bear, they do not fade, but are engraved somewhere hidden and remain. Of the various pains, the more vivid ones ache most intensely. Nobody will take my holy. It is mine alone. I engraved my feelings, my holy, in these mirrors, and break them here, because they are my feelings alone. But if I were in my power, I would see him one more time. That didn't happen. Oh, my you, flashbacking. I want to see you. I'm being flashback, teleport, make my life easy. That works. They're like, we see you are being attacked by a nonsensical, persistent engraver. Let us just teleport you across the void. Yeah, that makes that so much easier, because now I don't have to manually walk back. It's kind of odd that the game would do that right there, though. But it is what it is. So, make sure you have everything you need, because going forward from this point on, you can't go back. You literally can't. I'm kind of decent on items. It's not what I would want it to be, but it's what it is. We're going to just have to take it. I, let, I did save right there, though, so if shit goes wrong, maybe I can come back. There was ghost lines when I walked in here, so there's something near me. Anytime you walk in and you get like these like black lines that go up and down across the screen, it means that there's something near you. In most cases you get like these squiggly lines it's like a presence and I think it's because she's at the fucking door right there yeah she's just standing there Reka let's approach her super slow 
feel like I'm getting faster. I'm getting faster. Reka. Oh, my, my fault. Reka. Get the hell back here. We're not done. I love how the doors just close on my face. Always, always in this place. Fucking Yashikuze. There's uh, something I need to the left right here. Yashi. My body is ready. <laughs> Yashi. Priestess sleep for awakening from her dream for all eternity. Fast battle time! She's one of my favorite ghosts. You look good. I don't have any fucking slow power. This is stupid. This is stupid. More sacrifices! Bro, she's trying to do like some Mortal Kombat finisher. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I slow you with the power of ghost and anime. Oh. Yeah. Yes. 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 She resisted my power like the damn boss that she is. Go. Did I hit her with it? It. Yeah. What are you, what are you trying to do? Cause she moves really fast, so when you hit her with the slowdown power and she tries to move, it looks ultra funny. She broke it. She broke my fucking power. More sacrifices to do that. It doesn't work that way, dear grandmother, mother dear. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Uh... Vacuum noise. More sacrifices. Finish her. Son of a fucking cat. Impossible. Fossick. I am not playing your game. Enough is enough, mother dear. Like how I defeated her and you can still hear her voice in the room. It sounds like she's saying go now. Go now. That's what it always sounds like it's saying to me. It's probably not what she's saying, but it sounds like it. Let's see. It's either go now or go down. It's either one. It's what, It sounds the same either way. I need to pick this up right now. I don't need that stone mirror over there, but we can go. Yeah, that's a stone mirror over there. Right there. I already have it though, so I don't need it. So we need to go put the mirror in down there. Let's go back. Steppity, 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 step. I can't remember if there's anything under the stairs on the left. Um, over there. I don't think so. I want to say no. Because I remember last time there was. There was something on the other side, but that's just a stone mirror, but I don't need it. So let's go back downstairs and put the mirror in place. That's only if you had died when, when you come out of that door on the roof where I'm like, she's going to come down and do a choke slam like The Undertaker when I said that. Normally, most people insta-die on that part. Everybody always insta-dies right there, but I, I'm, I was so good I got away from her. I have put the mirror of loss on the pedestal. You should open the screen for me. So if you remember, Miku had did this earlier in the game, but the mirror that Miku had placed was like the dream mirror. It wasn't the real one. We, we had put the real one together. So the one that Miku had was the dream version. This is the actual real one now. So this is where Miku went originally. So now we're able to get back here. We couldn't get back here originally, but now we can. Also, remember to save on your way down to the Abyss Horizon, because this is the probably only one of the few times where you can. There is another shrine at the very, very bottom, of course. Um, but I usually try to save myself up here, because if you save at the bottom... If you save at the bottom one, 
if you like mess up or something and you have to come back and collect more items, you have to make the climb again. You have to climb all the way from the bottom and it takes forever. So I usually scythe at the top. That way if I mess up and have to come back for whatever reason, I won't have to make a whole thousand yard climb. Like literally. So from now on, there is no going back, is there? Final hour of the Abyss Horizon! Open the door. There's the lanterns. The Abyss Horizon. So these are the lanterns of parting. Originally they were not here, but they are now. So we should be able to get a photo of Reka in front of the shrine. So I'm going to walk slowly really forward. This is also kind of like a safe zone. I don't think you get attacked by anything on the way down. Because Reika is like the main boss ghost and all the other ghosts are basically gone. One of the few last ghosts that you encounter is actually Hisame. And of course the engravers are always there. But when it comes to main ghosts that you encounter, Hisame is one of the last ones. You don't really encounter anymore after this point. Because it's like end game, so. Something is reflecting in the light. Good. She's like, I will give you items to help kill me, because it's funny. Little lone shrine. I like the lanterns on the water. It's depressing. But it's like something kind of peaceful about it, too, though. Mm. So, like I said, they kind of see Reka as, they see Rey as the new priestess. So they see her as the new priestess. So on this next bit, we're going to have to ride the cage down as if though we are Reka. So they're on the left and right. So this one's kind of tricky. Can I move? Can I move? Turn around if you can and uh, photo both of them. Don't step backwards too far, though, because uh, it'll trigger the cutscene. I think you're supposed to be able to back up like this and take a photo of them together like that, but I did it one by one. Here we go. That's Yashu telling them to lower her down. Konami. So see, she she's seeing Konami, but Yashu and the engravers aren't. It's like in her mind. There's peace. I need to walk down over that's a really good shot. I like that. I like Tori Gates sticking out of walls. Would you to the other side? Come on, where is it? Where is it? Is it up? Am I looking in the wrong way? There's a tricky ghost circle here. I'm gonna lose my shit. Where is it? Am I doing it wrong? Hold on. The tip, the tip of the... Oh, hold on. Maybe I need to go down more. Shit, maybe I need to go down even more. No, it has to be at the tip of the Tory gate. Hold on. It's tricky. That auto turning again. That almost got me killed earlier, I swear to God. So let's be at the tip of the Tory gate, aiming down. There. The spirits of the dead. 
Yeah, there's a lot of hidden ghost circles in this game, and if you don't if you don't get them, it's just like gone forever. The abyss dead. The dead who were to pass through the last passage to the horizon, but now stagnate. See, I would have went too far and I would have missed it. See, some of those ghost circles are quite hidden. You would never know they're there. You have to listen for it. Kind of makes like a kind of noise. So when you hear that, then you know that there's a ghost circle near you. Every time I see Tory gates like that sticking out of walls with rope, I don't know why it makes me think of Pain from Naruto. <laughs> it's one of my favorite characters. I know people make fun of people and think, oh, Naruto's for kids, but I actually still like the show and I still like that. I still like the characters. Fucking don't do that. Get off me, you fucking freak! So Hisame is the only remaining shrine maiden, and she likes to give free hugs to unsuspecting visitors, because she's a fucking freak. I don't know, maybe it will be wise to defeat her on the way down, but, uh, damn it. I, uh, my foot's going numb because the way I was sitting, and it's really painful. Fucking, hold on. She's behind me. There's no time. There's no time. She's probably behind me again. I can't see from this angle. Yeah, she was behind me. I'm gonna just keep going down. I think I'm... Hold on. Wait, no. I don't even think I need a fighter. I think she's just there to try to impede me. Yeah, because she went away. Let's just ignore her. Nope, she's still following me. I lied. I'm forced to walk slow like this. You can't you can't do this shit to me. Well if she grabs me, I can use one of my flashes. So when they go to grab you if you're oh now they're all there. Oh no. Oh no. Sort Look at them circling around me like a bunch of piranhas in the water. <laughs> Get off! When they go to grab you, as I was trying to say, hit the circle button. As soon as they grab you, hit it. See, now they're in their true ghost form. See, originally before when you encounter them, they had like full, deeper physical bodies. And now they're like flying around like fucking crazy catfish or some shit. So now they're in their true ghost forms. This is what they, this is what they actually look like. Can you stop? Stop that. The f Stop. I need to I need to touch the gate. Oh, I go around the other side. Other side. It's lagging. It's lagging. You can see it lagging. The book has been left behind in front of the cell where the priestess must have been kept. Tattoo Diary 3. I had a dream about him. In the rift, the hell of holy, he came before me as I was to be lowered into the abyss. The mistress does not notice. It's my dream after all. Okay, he, he extends his hand. I do too. Just as our fingers are about to reach, the holy abates just a bit. I didn't lose myself. But we couldn't touch. That was the scene earlier when she was being lowered down and he came down to reach for her. Even I, who haven't been engraved with the holy of so many people, even I might still be able to dream of him in my eternal sleep. So, like, this is her, like, accepting the fact that, oh, I can never be with him again, but I can be with him in my dreams. Like, he's always with me, even if the headmistress doesn't know it, he's there. So it's almost like she's, like, creating, like, some kind of a mental fantasy at this point. Like, imaginary friend bullshit. Like, I see him, but you don't. Ha! <laughs> I think I need to fight all three of them before I can leave. Oh, they're lagging my game. Stop lagging my game. Stop with your lagging bullshit, you damn freak. <laughs> Don't get off. Get off. She screwed up my combo. I was going to combo them again, but then I got grabbed behind from the other one. Son of a bitch. They do that. They love to do that. They love to interfere in my fucking... 
slow you down for a minute. Come here. Come here. She's in my face on the left, and I can't do shit about it. Just take brownie shots off them. I don't have time for this shit. I really don't have time for this shit. I don't have time for your bullshit. Gonna give you slow. <laughs> Minamo's been eliminated. Minamo's been eliminated. She's been eliminated. Fucking finish her like it's Mortal Kombat. Turn around. She's on my left. She's on my left. Right. Get off. Get off, you freak. Back the fuck up. Ghost repellent. That's right. I got ghost repellent. What you gonna do about it? Fucking nothing. She's going for a dive attack. Will you stop that? I wasted my slow power on the fucking ground wall. That's fantastic. She's she's probably she's probably really right there. Can you like come here for a damn second? This is getting ridiculous. Yeah, alright. I can tussle. Did I get her or not? I think I got her. I keep looking down at something. Is there something there? They are much harder to fight like this. Ah, she was in my face and I moved up. Get off! Hell off me. This is... <laughs> so there's only one left. She get her. She get her. She get her. There you are. Ultra slow power. What you gonna do about it? You look good. Now the atmosphere changed. We defeated all three of them. They're fucking gone. Yay. <laughs> that is a long way down. That is a long, mysterious way down. Woo. Doesn't work the way I want it to. The articulations kind of want. Alright, let's see what this is. So, Rekakuze. A woman whose body has been etched with pain. She is etched with the longing and pain of those who have survived and continues to carry and feel that pain. And then in the end was carved into the mirror. Was it really? And then in the end, what was carved into the mirror was the pain of her own holy. Her longing to see Konami again. I want to be with him again as her final words. Let's see. So Mane. The girl with plated hair or two twin tails who begged Miku for help. Braided twin tails. She was waiting for her brother to come back. She must have gone into the shrine to try and help him, and then she was murdered. Yeah, so she led her brother into the Kuze shrine, and then he never came back out, and then I guess she tried to go in to find him, and then she was captured by the other priestesses because nobody was allowed into the, uh, the shrine, I guess. Because if you go in there, it basically like wakes up the priestess. And her going in there was breaking the commandments itself. So when she went in there, they they captured her and brought her back out. And they carried her all the way to here. And then they impaled her. And then her brother was struck in the back of the head by Yashu and he was killed. So this blood patter on the floor right here with the stakes is supposed to be where they impaled Amane. So she was she was killed right here, basically. So let's, uh, let's keep going. Did I pick it up? Good. Good. They're giving me a lot of healing and stuff. So this is literally the end. This boss fight's not too hard, but I do remember it being fucking kind of annoying in a way. So... Wait. Huh? 
Thought I heard a ghost circle. I guess I'm insane. Yeah, that's great. I was lucky I was fast enough to get that. There's been times in the past where I've, like, screwed that up. Because I have a trigger finger. And I'll pull the damn thing out too fast and I miss. Alright. Boss time. Let me change my film, I guess. Oh shit. Here we go. So this is where K is being held. Alright, let's go in. The color will change. Don't want to see, see anymore. anymore. I shouldn't have done that. She was still there. She's still there in the photo. You could see her walking up to the shrine and then she disappeared. So this is what it looks like in here. Take a look at that. I can actually push the lanterns? What? That's absurd. They have hitboxes. I can actually push them. Fuck your lanterns, Rika. So this kind of shows you how far the boss room ends. It kind of goes into like this murky white dream water. No oh, man, I gotta prepare myself for this fucking boss fight because I re I'm trying to remember how it works. I remember there is some shit happening where, like, it's, like, difficult, and I'm trying to remember why it used to bother me. Um, I'm just worried about this cutscene. There's a cutscene where she goes to, into the shrine, and then Kaname walks next to her. I remember them giving me problems on it before. I mean, all that means is I'll just put ads in my video. It should be fine. Trying to drink some water because once I start this fight, I won't be able to take my hands off the controller. All right, I'm ready. Sorry. I should be able to do it. I should be able to. I don't know why I feel like, I feel a little reluctant because uh, I had problems with this before. On nightmare difficulty anyway. On nightmare, it's a lot harder. Why does she have to be make so much noise getting in a room? She's so loud. There he is. So you see how he appeared with her as soon as she walked in? This is supposed to be symbolizing that she was carrying Kaname with her, I think. Kind of like what happened earlier, how she split apart from Miku and Miku's dream. So he came in with her, if you noticed. Rika. In my dreams, I...
There's the stakes falling out. You can hear them falling out of her. This is what happened to uh, Kay when he came in here. He saw the same thing. Flashing. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry for the blink flashing that's happening. It's part of the game. An archaleptic warning. I'm sorry. Uh, why is it doing that? People always made fun of that line she says where she's like, I realize I must be eternal. People always made fun of it and they think that she's saying, I realize I must be a turtle. What she's actually saying is eternal, but everybody thought that she was saying turtle. I realize I must be eternal. I must be eternal. My fault. I said I must be eternal. No, it's going to always. Ah! Oh my God, motherfucker! I must be eternal. No, no, no. Uh, I'm going to go backwards. Yeah, I was right. Don't let her touch you, by the way. She reappears and disappears randomly. So if she touches you, it's a death. I'm too close to the fucking stairs. I shit. Oh, there she is. Okay. Don't, 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 don't. Please, no, please. <sighs> I must be eternal. Too early. Me and my fucking trigger finger, bro. It's getting louder. It's getting louder. Oh my god. What did she say? Did she just say I wanted to bend over inside me? My fuck. I must be eternal. So many etched in. No one will survive. Ah, uh, if only I would have been faster. No, stop. Ah. Always in my heart. Always in, over and over. And again, always, always in my heart, etched in, over and over, and then again. Usually she says again more than five to six times, she'll release you. There's a pattern to it, if you're wondering why I'm, why I'm saying it along with her. Because I'm counting, I'm counting in my head is what I'm doing. Oh, she barely fucking swiped me. Oh. <laughs> moment. Always in my heart, etched in over and over again, again too. And a moment, always in my heart, etched in over and over again, again for. Always in my heart. I must be eternal. So many new people etched into me. I knew it. Over and over and over inside. Uh, <laughs> that 
was a death. She broke my spirit mirror. I'm fucking screwed. Moment always in my heart. Etched in over and over. Moment again. Moment always in my heart. Ah, oh, no. What the fuck? Damn it. Must be eternal. Ah. Oh. The moment always in my heart, etched in over and over again, again to the moment always in my heart, etched in over and over again, again for. Only the numbers be eternal. So many people etched into me. Ah. You need to stop that. Okay, that was pretty good. Fuck. always in my heart, etched in over and over again, again to the moment, always in my heart, etched in over and over again. Again, four. You just count. Just count out loud. That's how you do it. Must be eternal. Must be Uh. Shit. No, Rika. Uh. Rika, no, no, please. Ah. Uh. Uh. <laughs> Fucking fatalization. I was trying to be so careful too. You suck. Let's look at my album. Let's take a look. Look at the photos. Oh man, she got me so hard. That sucks. I was trying to be careful too, but she caught me off guard on that one, and it fucked up everything. Damn it! I was trying to be so careful too, because you you can't. It's an insta kill, like I told you. I knew she was going to get me with that. It was only a matter of time. That's why I kept trying to count out loud. Because when she goes etched in, etched in over and over, it's one, two. And then she says it again and repeats. Then it's three, four. And then when you get to four, she lets you out. Sometimes in the past, though, she it's gone to five, which is why I said five. But it's actually four. Oh my god, that is such bullshit. Well, it just goes to show you that it actually, um, it's not easy. Oh 
Also, my PS3 is a day ahead. It's actually 5-21-24, but it's probably going to say that it's 25. No, it is on the right date. Good. Well, let's try that again. Ah, oh, jeez. Why is this the way that it is? Why do you have to do this to me? So usually you do more damage if you wait till she's like right upon you. Like I was trying to do, wait till it glows red and then it does more damage. The thing that sucks though is I don't have um, the right amount of film. All I have is the blue one, which doesn't do a whole lot of damage, especially against somebody like her. So it just drags on forever, because I don't do enough damage. It can be done, though. I'm not saying it can't. It's just my timing was bad at times, and I did screw it up a lot of the time, too. So it was, it was a mixture of things. It was a mixture of a lot of stuff. I don't want to breathe anymore. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go back and save after I get this. So I don't want to keep having to redo these ghost circles over and over again. It's kind of annoying. So, uh... It would have been better if I had picked up... Say, I had picked up red and green film throughout my whole playthrough, but then I would use it stupidly, like on Yashu, and then I would miss a lot of my shots. So I lost a lot of that. And I probably should have stockpiled those to save them for now. So that was kind of my fault. Shit. Let's see if I can leave. Sometimes they don't let you. Certain games, when you get to the end, they don't let you freely go around places. Like, once you go through a door, it's like you're, like, softlocked. We're basically at the end, though. This is it. So, that cutscene, I'm gonna, I'm gonna skip it. The one of him walking in. I think it's skippable. We'll try it again. And if I wind up dying again, what I'll do is I'll play through it on my own. Like, cause when I record with my phone, I can actually pause the recording. So what I'll do is I'll pause it until I get the final shot on her. And then I'll resume it, because I don't want to make people watch me fight her over and over again. But that, that's usually why I repeat along with her, because it counts to, it goes to four. When she says over and over, it's one and two. And then when she says over and over, it's three and four. And then she lets you out. What screws you up, though, is like I said, she appears behind you and then she disappears and then she'll appear in front of you and it when you're surrounded by like it's like a dome i've seen it from a distance because i got a camera glitch one time and uh sorry i had to drink some water um when she's in like that 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 dome when it appears around you like that she appears and disappears randomly so she'll be behind you and then when she disappears she can reappear and be behind you and when she touches you while inside that dome it's an insta kill and that's basically what happened so she hit me it broke my spirit mirror i was alive for a while and then she hit me again with it kind of just sucks I'm going to try to be really careful and focus. No one will survive. No one. I could have did it and I moved it away. That was my fault. Shit. Again. 
question over and over. One, two. And there she is. That moment always in my head. And still over and over. Three, four. Pay attention to where you're at when she does the I'm right in front of the shrine, so you don't really have too much room. So let's stay right in front of the shrine for a minute. So I know how far I have to run. It's okay. I hit it though. Double second guessing myself. What am I doing? <laughs> you see how I went from left to right? I turned around and then turned around again. <laughs> I was trying to listen for her. I heard her from my left and then I was like, no, that's right, that's right. And then I tried to go back left again and then she was there. <laughs> <laughs> reach for me reach for me reach for me oh left 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 right be nice if I learned how to fucking aim she's right she's right she's right <laughs> Okay, turn around. Left. 
damn it, my joystick articulation be slow as shit. Oh no, I'm in the wrong place for this. I have no idea where she is now. I lost it. One, two. Always in my Etched over and over. Three, four. I realized that I must be. It wasn't close enough. There was no time. Ah! <laughs> Damn it, I could have double shot it. What did I not? Right the fuck in your face. Ah. There you are. If you stay close to the edge of the outer ring of the level stage when she does this attack, it's easier because she spawns faster because she's usually always at the end and she works her way inwards towards you. So if you're at the end when she appears like that, you can get her to spawn faster. Three, four. Because she's usually on the outer, outer area of the stage. And she works her way inwards towards you. So if you're already at the end when that starts, you get her to spawn, like, right away. She didn't even give a shit. Hey, hold on. I got her. How? I must be eternal. So many pages etched into me. Oh, come on, you energy particle motherfucker. Double tap, double tap. Let's go left. There. See, she, she appears right away because you're at the end of the level. She disappeared again. Shit. Could be. One, two. That moment, always in my heart. That's Jen over and over. Three, four. Okay, I'm at the end of the stage, touching the water. I must be eternal. How the flying... F I'm gonna just heal again, because I feel like she's gonna hit me with something stupid. Keep an eye on her. Back the fuck up. I wanted to see if I could double tap it. I could not. Don't you say I'm sorry. I'm sorry. That must be eternal. Damn it, I'm too high up. Aiming too high. Damn. Okay, I'm at the end, so. Right at the stairs. Over and over. So when she says over and over, that's one, two. Mailment always in my heart. It's in over and over three, four. It's like when she says again, again, that's one, two. That's how you, that's how you count. Okay, hold on, hold on. I can't spin around fast enough. It's fucking joystick. Pull the camera out. God, what is the lag? And I lost her. It's lagging really bad for me, so when I'm trying to spin, it's just like, nah. So last time it let me double tap. What the fuck? Let me get to the edge of the stage because she's going to do it. Let me see. It's lagging me. See how I'm kind of lagging? You see it? That, that blue mist is lagging me. That's what's happening. Okay. 
lose my high question over and over again one again two a moment always in my high question over and over again three again four I must be eternal. I must be eternal. So when you hear that Kyrie, Kyrie, that's how you can tell where she is. So if you're hearing me trying to listen for it, she's far to my right. Kyrie, Kyrie. Three, four. Kyrie. That's the sound she makes. Reach for me. Why the fuck? Okay, hold on. Hold on. See, you can hear you can hear it now, can't you? The key wasn't there before. It's there now. Okay, blue blob on the floor. Blue blob on the floor. Blue blob to the left. Stay focused. Too close to the fucking stairs. Here we are. Okay, she's on my far left, I think. Like behind me on the right. There, there, there. It was left, but then when I turned, it became right. Three, four. Why do I have this dream where I'm stuck perpetually losing my mind? I realize that I must be eternal. Back the holy fuck up. Get close to the edge of the stage. Try to move over here to the stairs. Where are you? That I must be eternal. I'm getting better. Damn it! I'm gonna just slow walk over here. Just slow walking. Damn. Two, two. Listen, listen. Always in my heart. Let's do over and over. Again, one, again, two. A uh, moment, always in my heart. Edge. I'm too close to the edge. I'm too close to the edge, and I'm about to break. Three, four. Always in my heart. Please appear in front of my face. Come on, just a little bit more. Turn. Got her. Forever. See, counting out loud helped me do it better. And I was able to count her steps. That's usually how I do it. Because when she goes again, that's one, again, two, and then it goes for two, and then it repeats another cycle. And then it goes to three and four, and then she lets you go. We're closing her eyes. It's all right. To close your eyes now. Reminds me of that song from Ozzy and Lita Ford. But close my eyes forever. What it all you mean I'm changed. This looks like the beach from Fatal Frame 5. I wonder if it is. One way on the on the beach and then it goes to the, the shrine. 
It looks very much similar. So she put both their bodies into that boat to cast them to the other side because that's what she wanted. So this is her helping them cross over. So Ray was the only one who could do this. Not the priestess is gone, the curse is broken. So she's now across to the other world. This is the afterlife. It's opened now that she sent their souls over. Each candle or lantern represents a person, by the way. Here's her, her husband. You! you know how hard it is to run through abyss death water? Don't go! <laughs> you can't leave me this time! <laughs> mm -hmm. Scream it. This song is copyrighted. I'm not going to do that. <laughs> I don't want to pause it, but I have no choice. So this time I'm going with you. It is copyrighted. I usually have to pause it and mute it. It probably got already claimed, though. Um, um, sorry, I have to do it like this. I'm sorry, I have to do this. Yeah, so he took he took That's those on why for I need you to live. God it's stuttering so bad. It was stuttering the whole time, so maybe the stutter will help me get past that because it was like Drrr. it goes like T -t -t -t. my game stutters really bad because it's it's emulated, so So he took on those tattoos for her to free her, so she woke up and everything's gone because she allowed the priestess to pass on with her lover. So she basically crossed both of their souls to the other side and was able to break the curse because that was what was wrong. Reika was never able to re like release her feelings to Kaname. 
And because she was never able to tell him how she felt about him, she be she became stuck. And then when he awoke in her, he was killed in front of her and she couldn't accept it. And that's what caused the malice to release. I always thought that was really tragic. Some of her crying sometimes sounds really fake. No, I don't want to play that song again. Please don't. You know, it's funny because it's, it's sung by Kiko Amane, Amano. Sukiko Amano. And she sounds like Hanbei's voice actor. Because Hanbei is voiced by a girl. He's voiced by Soji Umaka. And uh, it sounds, she sounds like her. <laughs> if you listen to it, it sounds like. Uh... <laughs> We don't want to do that, though. Um, can I? God, what the fuck? You got rank A for Are You Sure? Because that is effective. Oh god, that's horrible. So many 60s. I'll take it. Yeah, I'll take it. I'll take it. Are you sure about that? No. But I'll take it. I'll take it. Yeah. So in those photos, it was supposed to be Kay waking up and him introducing Mayu to Ray. Okay. Uh. So that's that's done now. That's fucking fantastic, bro. Well, I don't know what to say about that. We're probably gonna just have to leave that one there. Let me see if I can. Can I... Does this default me back to my home screen? Because this, this game's emulated on my PS3. And the way it works is it like turns itself on and off to change between modes. So if I cancelled it, I want to see if it goes back. Because normally when I play this, I usually hit my home button and I, turn, I select turn console off. So I never... Do it this way. We can see the old load up screens. This is my PS3. I am worried about that song. If it gets claimed, I think what I'm going to have to do is I might have to uh, either re-record the ending or without sound or I'll just mute it. So if parts of this video are quiet, I might have to put a note in the description that says this was muted because of this. Um... So we'll see if that happens. I really hope it didn't, but this game, these games are like that. So, uh, shit. So it probably, it probably freaking did. I wouldn't doubt it if, uh, if it didn't, it probably did. Um, wouldn't be surprised though. So anyway, I'm going to probably leave this here because I, I, we're going to be going through Fatal Frame 2 next, but because I can only record for, uh, three hours and 20 minutes on my phone and we've already gone through uh about two hours now i could start fatal frame 2 but i would only be able to record for an hour so we'll have to see how it works maybe that first video will just be really short i hate taking breaks in videos like that like i kind of want to make it a one whole long three hour video i mean i could just start on it now but i would only be like an hour and 20 minutes and they would be short, so I don't know if, if I, I could do that, you know, so I can get them both started. So this one's officially done. Um, again, because that ending is copyrighted because of that song, hopefully it didn't catch it, but it, I mean, it played long enough. I think you, you, it's like, was it like 20 seconds you're allowed? Um, 
depending on certain songs. There's some songs where you can't even play one second. Usually it's like five or seven seconds. But I think with those ones, because I've recorded this game before, I think it's like 20 or 15 or something like that, which is why I kept unmuting and pausing it because it, it messes up the sound so it, it's not catching the full song. And then it was stuttering, if you notice. It was like, like my game was starting to stutter and glitch. So uh, maybe it, that'll help as well with the stuttering. But then again, if it, if not, we'll see what happens. If it gets claimed, it's going to be depressing because I'm not really going through the whole game. Uh, maybe I'll just have to mute it, mute sound. But if it's like a huge section, I can't really edit it out like that. So if anything, I'll probably just have to leave it. All it means is they put ads in the video. It's not like a super big deal, but it's something I really hate. I don't like having videos on my channel at all that say... They used to say match third-party content years ago, like seven, eight, nine years ago. They used to say that back like in 2012, 14, when I used to do Final Fantasy 13. And thir I have all three 13 games. I have 13, one, two, and Lightning Returns. And those games specifically used to give me shit all the time. And it used to say match third-party content. and But now they changed it to where it says copyright claim. So... All that means is that the owner of the song is allowing it to be used on YouTube, so all they do is just put ads in for that person. And most of the time, it's not even that actual art author or artist claiming. It's the automatic algorithm system that's claiming it. It's not them. It's the system. So um, I don't think Tsukiko Amano would be going out striking people for using her music in their videos unless it was like them making money off it when I'm not. So, uh, And I don't think she would do that. But it's, it's the company that she labeled, her Japanese company label that owns the song that's doing it. And it's, again, it's not actually them. It's the algorithm system doing it for them. So, uh, well, we'll see what happens with this. But I've been wanting to finish this, and I took, like, a really long break from it. It's literally been, like, uh, a very long time, I must say. It's been uh, four weeks. I looked back at my log to see how long it had been, and it told me that it'd been, it had been, like, four weeks. And I was like, oh, God. So, um, it is done now. Hopefully it'll be fine. If it's not, well, it is what it is. I guess I'll just have to leave it like that. I don't know. But alright, I guess, um, thanks for watching. If you did, again, I had dedicated this playthrough to a friend of mine, my friend, uh, Narcoleptic Insomniac. I de dedicated this playthrough to him, as well as one of my other friends. Um, so... It was worth it to me, and I had plans on finishing it due to that reason. So, uh, I guess, thanks for watching if you did. And if you want to see a little bit of Fiddle Frame 2, I can probably start it. But again, if because I've already wasted two hours here, that means that video would only be like an hour. Which most people would probably prefer. Sometimes it's hard to sit down and watch a three-hour video. But I'm one of those people who have the time to do that kind of stuff. So, But I know there's a lot of people who can't. So, um... We'll probably make that first video short, but every other video after that will not be. So, well, I guess we can do one short one and then the rest of the playthrough will be long because it gives me more time to finish it. And Fatal Frame 2 is a short game in my personal opinion. It's not very long. So, why am I on one, by the way? It's supposed to be down here. <laughs> Wrong game. Uh, yeah, I'm actually soft locked on Fatal Frame uh, 1. But that's a story for another time. Uh... So I, I'm soft locked because I'm at the end of the game and I don't have any more healing items and I have to get down to the blinding mask door and you have to fight the blinding mask lady and then some other guy on the way down. I think Riazo, you have to fight him on the way down. And by the time I get to the bottom, I'm like really hurt and she's like breathing and she's like dying and has no health at all. And I can't get through that, that first ghost encounter because once you get down to the Tori tunnel, uh, the Tori gate tunnel where you're going... Like, you have to fight Kyrie again, or I think it's more like a sequence scripted run away from her chase. Um, my tablet. And, uh, maybe I can show you real quick. I know this isn't part of the game, but it's not part of this video, but I can... I think I restarted it, though. I have two different playthroughs. I, uh... I had one that I was doing, and then I think I deleted it and restarted it, and I saved on a different file. I had did something weird, and I can't remember what I had did. Kind of have to hurry, though, because my, uh, my bladder disease is starting to act up, and I can feel the burning creeping up on me inside slowly. So I need to hurry and go 
uh, relieve that real quick before I can continue. But we're going to go look at this. Maybe I can hold on for a minute to show this. My headache has kind of lessened a bit, but it's still kind of there. Let's take a look, though. Accessing memory one. So we have demon tag, bubble room, strangling yard. I like the... Which one is it? Strangling? See, this one was after. This one was before. This... Is this the one? Oh, I really have to hurry. My bladder's burning bad. Ugh. Now loading. Can you imagine if it said that? Yeah, she, she's dying. See, this is where I'm at. Look at shit. I think I need to go... Over here. Okay, hold on. My bladder is burning too bad. Okay, I had to take a break. My thing's friggin' up. Where's my uh, remote? See, this is this is where I am. Is this the right way? Oh, the camera angles on this game are so weird. Okay. See, this is where we have to go. And this is where I start getting attacked. Do you see him? Did you see him? On the left? He's coming for me. Where's the letter at? Right here. Following me down the ladder like a freak. Ow! Dead. And that is how I am soft locked in this game. Did you see it? Bullshit. <laughs> it's exactly what happens. Follows me down, and I keep getting soft locked in that area because I can't get down fast enough, and he just like, straight up attacks me like a freak. See, that's why I'm soft locked. That's why. I can't get down without being in one shot either by him or her. This is a save before that. Okay. I'm not hurt anymore. But let's see. How do I. What's her life at? That's yeah, decent. I have a healing item here. And we got the blinding mask. So, that other save. That's why I said that other save is dead. Because. Um, I can't get down. So I have zero and I have 18. I don't know why I'm using the stronger film. I think it's because I needed it. So this gives you an idea, um, of where I am in the game. Why I keep getting soft locked by shit. My basic functions. I can't afford crap. You know what I probably should have done? Is I should have been saving my points to max these. So I can get search which searches locations of ghosts and automatically tracks them. I only have 9,842 points and you need 14,000 to get this. So I should probably try to get that. This one's cheaper C which makes the ghost more visible. So I might try to save up my points to unlock all of these first. Because what I'm thinking of doing is because I have already restarted this one as well. And you get to unlock different outfits for Miku. And if I'm going to be doing final runs of these games, I think what I'm going to do, because I had already did it, I, I'm going to start up this game and I'm going to try to play through it on my own and clear it again. And then I'm going to change her outfit and come back to wherever I left off in my last three-hour video for this game. And then just continue playing in one of the kimonos. Because um, we're already pretty much close to the end of this game, but I'm like soft-locked and this is a game that I do not want to keep restarting, if you get my gist. Uh, I just wanted to show it in case people were curious about it. Um, that's why I'm soft locked. And that other save, she's like already hurt. 
she has no life or anything. And even this one's dead as well. I know I, I do have um, a healing item, as you can see. I do have a healing item right here, but I only have one. And the ghost, you have to fight that guy on the way down, plus the blinding mask woman. And, like, they one-shot the shit out of you. Like, did you see how he one-shotted me on the stairs, on the ladder? Those ladders are automatic. When she approaches them, she automatically climbs down by herself. And, uh, there was, like, nothing I could do. Like, it one-shotted me hard. I also like how this clock reminds me of Hanbei Spinner from Samurai Warriors 3-4. Um, because he has the numbers on his thing like that. It goes through 1 through 12. That's what those symbols are. That's why it's called a bladed dial, because a dial is a clock. Anyway, um... So what time would it be? It would be... Because even the clock in my room is a whole hour behind. It's 2.16, but it's saying it's 1.16. So currently in the game, it's like 5.20? It's like 5.20... almost 5.25. It's like 5.21 in the game. I like how if you stare at the clock hand as it goes around, you can actually physically see them moving slowly. It's so it's such a neat detail. Yeah, it's like 521 in the game right now. It's 5 a.m. and I'm doing fucking circles in my tunnel. Yeah, in the game's time, it's 5 a.m. Also, why isn't it shaking? What happened to the rubble shake? Yeah, so this is where I'm at with this game. What's my, uh... Oh, it's what? <laughs> That's so funny! <laughs> Get off! Get off! See how much damage they do? Yep. I forgot my controls. As soon as I pulled up the camera to see what my camera button was, she got me. You see how it's easy to get soft locked? Did you see how fast she killed me? What the fuck? Lady! I don't have time for this! We're not even supposed to be playing this one right now. I'm just showing it off just to show where I'm at. Fuck. Because, see, Fatal Frame 2 and 3, it's it's this triangle button. But in this game, a triangle brings up your menu, as we're in those other games. It doesn't. It's circle for the camera in this one. Oh, my dear lordy lord. Well, you know what? I've had enough of that. Oh, my god. That is not ideal. But anyway, that's where I'm at in Fatal Frame 1. We just finished 3, so... We're going to be going to two now. One is going to take me forever to finish because I keep getting soft locked. And as you saw, I got one shot at again. Because I, I was because see, it lags. So when I was trying to bring my camera back up, when I was like, like, yeah, it's so funny. And I was laughing at her, laughing at me, laughing at me, laughing at her. Um, she grabbed me again a second time. And did you see how much damage she did? I kind of let her grab me just to show you how fast they kill you in that one. It's faster than like, the other Fatal Frames... When you get ga grabbed by other non-boss ghosts, they do a little bit of damage, but not like that. Like, she drained that bar quickly. That's what I liked about Fatal Frame 3 more, is when you get grabbed, you can hit your circle button, which is like the the flash button. And it flashes them, and it causes the ghost to let go of you, and you don't take damage at all. You have to hit it as they grab you. Fatal Frame 1 doesn't have anything like that. 2 doesn't either. So, when you get grabbed by shit, it's ultra stupid. <laughs> But I still like those games regardless. I still like one. One is unique, in my personal opinion. The way that it looks, and the way the game plays, and the way the ghosts are, it's unique. The other Fatal Frames don't do that. So that one's kind of special. But it's also kind of hard and frustrating at times, just because of the fact that it is set up differently. Uh, but I just wanted to show where it was, because I am soft-locked. And another friend of mine was telling me something about playing the game on emulation. You actually can't clear it. The, the ending crashes or something. So... I have this downloaded on my PS3, as you can see. It even says PS3 on the bottom. This is on a PS3. The reason why I have these is I bought them off PlayStation Store on the PS3. They are available there. That's how I have them in the first place. So, uh, 
If you have internet and you have a PS3 and you have ten dollars, you could probably buy each of them because they're each ten. I think they were ten. I think that's how much I paid each. I can't remember. But anyway, I'm cutting into my time for Fatal Frame 2, so we'll leave this one here. Uh, 3 is completed now, and I showed you where I was at with 1. Like I said, I'm probably going to have to try to clear 1 from start to finish on my own and uh, come back to where I actually am, wherever the hell I left off at, and I can't remember where I left off at. I probably should have looked and saw, but I might just have to look up my old video on my playlist to see. Uh, cause I did a, I had re I did a playthrough and then I left off like at part eight and then I replayed through it again and did like a three hour video and then I didn't play it again. So I have I technically have two playthroughs on fatal frame one that are both not finished. So one is in a whole, one whole video and the other one's like in separate parts, like 30 minute parts. So we'll see, um, we'll see what happens. Cause that one's going to drive me insane. But again, thanks for watching if you did. Again, Fatal Frame 3 was a playthrough dedicated to one of my friends. It was dedicated to two friends, but it was dedicated to my friend, uh, Narcoleptic Insomniac. So that one's for you, friend. We're done. See you another time.